Hello, my name is Christian Thompson, and I am a managing partner at the Franchise and Business Law Group. And today we're going to be talking about financial statements that need to be included with your franchise disclosure document. So, I have here financial statements, and the rule with financial statements is that you need, uh, you need a full audit of your franchise or company, auditing the, the prior three fiscal years. It has to be done by an independent CPA, and it has to be uh, done according to GAAP. Uh, we won't talk about uh, 606 today because that's something that may or may not be implemented. They were trying to roll it out this year and uh, they, they delayed the implementation of that. So, uh, like I said, it has to be pre uh, prepared by an independent CPA according to GAAP and it has to list in tabular form, it has to compare at least two years in tabular form uh, in the audit. So, what I want to talk about a little bit more is what are called phased in financials. So phased in financials, the rule, the, the FTC franchise rule, what it allows new franchisors to do is to phase in their audited financials. So they really don't have an, much of a history because usually it's a brand new franchisor company, at least that's what we recommend, and the franchisor company really shouldn't have any operations other than franchising, shouldn't own any uh, retail or company-owned locations or restaurants or whatever. So in the first year, so year one, what the franchisor is required to provide is un an unaudited opening balance sheet. So it doesn't have to be um, prepared by CPA or anything like that. Um, and I'm not talking about registration states today, I'm just talking about what's allowed under the federal rules. So in most states this works, but in some registration states, which we'll talk about in a different video, uh, there, there's some different requirements. So year two, you have to provide an audited balance sheet opinion. So this has to be from, uh, again, independent CPA. And your third year, you have to provide a full audit for the prior fiscal year. And then you have to also include these documents. And then as you move forward, each year you'll have to do a full audit for the prior fiscal year. So we at the Franchise and Business Law Group, we're attorneys, we're not CPAs but we can certainly help guide you and your CPA through this process so that you're providing the correct financial statements in your franchise disclosure document.